I'm going to show you how to replace the original hard drive in one of the CMU200s with an SSD. But we'll kind of show you anyway. Stick around. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. As you can see, I'm currently copying drives. It's copying one drive to another. See if the autofocus behaves. It isn't going to behave, is it? So I'm using a program called HDD Guru. It's not installed, it's just running on the uh, computer here. Just there. Come on, focus. There's a portable version, which means you can just run it straight off without installing it. So I'm using that. And it's copying these drives over. Now what I'm actually copying are these two IDE hard drives. Okay, now the one on the left is a hard drive from my Roden Swartz CMU200 and the drive on the right is a very cheap SSD and they're both IDE hard drives or P-A-T-A PATA Alright, so these are you know, old ATA drives, A-T-A, whatever you want to call it Alright, IDE interface, the old stuff, these 2.5 inch drives so I'm copying the data from one drive to the other. The idea is I'm going to put the SSD into the road and sorts. At least that's the plan. Right, it's the boot test now. This is on the original drive. This is the replacement drive I'm going to be putting in next. So I'm going to boot test on the original drive after I've done the copying. Hopefully the original drive still works. If it doesn't, something has gone wrong. And this will time how long it takes to boot. Okay, so I'm going to push the button and then I'll probably do like a dual screen thing when I do the comparison to see how much quicker the boot time is between the two. I might do like a split screen, one before, one after, something like that. So to get this hard drive out, the hard drive is actually right here, right behind the screen. So you've got this top panel here which I have to take off, which is right here. Okay, this is the top panel. And so you take that off, it's got a couple of screws on the side, and um, then you lift it off. I had to take this board here out so I could get to the screws. There's two screws that hold the hard drive in. Oh, it's like, something like a little caddy. And it's got two two screws at the top, and it's got like a finger in the bottom which locates into a hole. And you obviously got the ribbon cable which you see you can just see on camera. Alright, so I have to, to get to those screws straight enough to get them loose because they're quite tight, I have to take this card here out first. And you've got three little connectors here to pop off vertically, and there's also a couple of connectors and stuff on the bottom as well when you actually access on the bottom of the unit. There's a couple of screwed on SMAs underneath there with another little connector like this. So you take those off so you can lift this card out and then you can get a screwdriver in there to get to that hard drive screw if you need to. But uh, you might be able to do it with a short screwdriver maybe or you just get lucky and yours aren't as tight as mine were. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to take this drive out again now. Top it with the other one and we'll see how we go. So first thing I'll do is pop this ribbon cable back off. And now cool power actually. I've turned it off but it's cool power too. Power's now unplugged. Put the ribbon cable out. Now when I put this back together again, after doing the cloning, I've only put one screw back in. So I'll take it back out. And there's the caddy with the drive on it. Okay, so obviously I'm going to keep this thing as a... Uh, it's something to be really careful of. <laughs> this is something I don't want to damage. So again, I only put two screws in this as well because I took it off the caddy. So I'm going to put the Pop the new replace and drive in with all four screws. And hopefully the actual drive will work. Well, I really hope it does. It'd be kind of inconvenient if it doesn't. Anyway. Let's get these in. Now this drive is so it's a really cheap drive. And yeah, I, I don't know how good it's gonna be, how long it's gonna last, that sort of stuff, but yeah, we'll give it a go anyway. That's another reason to make sure the original drive keeps working because I might need to clone it again sometime in the future. I'll either clone off the original drive then clone off a copy of the original drive. Just a better way of doing it. Clone from the master, not from the clones. Just in case any corruptions crept in along the way. It happens. It can happen. Alright, so that's those in there. Let's get the uh, ribbon cable off the other drive. Plug in this one. Now these only go one way. Well, generally, they only go one way. You never quite know, though. 
and the casing of this drive is in the way of the connector. See this? Yeah. Some trimming is required, I'll be right back. Cheap drives. Okay, there you go, I've trimmed a bit of the side off here. It's only just the hollow casing anyway, it's not particularly critical. Alright, so I've trimmed a bit of that off now, so the cable should now fit. Yeah, that will line up now, that's fine. So about the lighting, my power supply is currently unplugged because this they're not normally kind of in the way, so yeah. I'm going to use one of my studio lights in the background there, which will hopefully be good enough. Right, let's hook this up to here, plug that in, let's get a screw, screw the drive back in. This kind of gets stuck, so try and get it aligned at the same time, it's a bit of fun, but we'll get one screw in and I'll try it I suppose. Okay, one screw in. Actually I'll push check that one. I'm pretty confident it'll work. The drive copy, the cloning function went without hitch, so I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Uh, it better be anyway. Right. Come on, in you go. Loosen this one up a little bit. Didn't follow my own rules, which is to not turn up until you're sure it's ready. <laughs> okay. I think those are both in okay. Let's plug power back in again. And we'll retest. Right, let's try this again. Now, it's got the new drive in there. Fingers crossed it works. We'll find out. Okay, here we go. Okay, well that's booted, so the drive worked, so yay for that. Now interestingly it wasn't much faster, it was only about two or three seconds faster, there wasn't much in it. At least it didn't appear to be anyway. At least the drive's working, that's the main thing. Now, because what I wanted to do is change it for reliability, because the hard drives, this is an old hard drive, they don't last forever, um, and this is the one that was in it here. Okay, and this is dated 2005, so that's 14 years old. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's a 30 gigabyte drive. The drive I've replaced it with is a 32 gigabyte SSD, although it's a really cheap one, and it's, it's probably not great, but it's going to be at least hopefully reliable, and um, at least then I'm not worried too much if this drive here suddenly craps out on me because if this failed, I had no backup. I would have had a bit of a disaster there. I would have had to try and rely on other people to try and get the thing up and going again. But at least now I can put this to one side, put it away somewhere that's really safe and not have to worry about it because this is now my master drive for cloning. If this SSD fails, that's fine. I've got another one or I've got some other solutions I can actually put in. So, um, you know, I can always just reclone again off this drive. But at least I know I can clone it and it does work. So, that's excellent. Happy with that. And there you go, that's where the hard drive sits, just here, so there's the front panel. Also it's standing on its face right now. And there's the drive, and there's the two screws which hold it in. So, now you can see what it looks like. And, uh, there's the panel that goes over the top, just like that. So you can just see what it looks like just in the side there, a bit of a gap. So, anyway, I'll put this thing back together, I'm finished now. Well, I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos, so if you haven't seen my previous stuff, then make sure you go and look. I've got hundreds of them, like 644 videos I've done so far. So go and check them out. Go back and look at the back catalogue.
Pages and pages of them. Loads of them. Go and check them out. Make sure you go and watch more stuff. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more.